Well, across the Pacific Northwest, there's no shortage of families wanting to adopt animals, but we don't have a lot of strays filling up our shelters. Emma Jerome is live this morning with more on the local programs that are helping pets across the nation find new homes right here in our area. Emma? Good morning, Ken and Emily. It's a good problem to have not having a lot of strays on the streets or in our shelters, and it allows us here in the Pacific Northwest the opportunity to help out. We have a behavior here, according to pet experts, where we want to adopt. We would oftentimes rather go to a shelter or a local organization to adopt an animal instead of a breeder or a shop that just sells puppies. Sam Ellingson with the Humane Society for Southwest Washington says we also are responsible with our animals knowing to spay and neuter them to not fuel overbreeding. What this creates is a demand for animals that's higher than what we have. So he says pets in the shelter will often come from places where strays run rampant and shelters are overrun, such as Texas, Louisiana. He says this sort of collaboration between shelters is a win win, especially when we can save these animals from places that euthanize pets. Obviously, we're saving lives with programs like this, but it's also really good for our families in the community where we're giving these families an opportunity to find this happy, healthy dog or cat or puppy or kitten or whatever it might be and give them a new home, give them an opportunity to, to meet their perfect match. And it's not only shelters who will do this. Popular adoption sites like PetFinder.com connect rescue groups with people here and will bring your adopted animal up to the Pacific Northwest from areas of the country as well. And of course, there are ways to help out. There are things we can do to prevent animals from getting into the shelters as well. And coming up the next half hour on Koi News AM Extra, I speak with Sam to share a couple of, of those resources as well. Back to you. All right, Emma, thank you.